Hello, my name is Vic and welcome back to another Kanan Live 2021 tutorial. In this video, we're going to be talking about transitions in Kanan Live. They're very easy to add in Kanan Live, so this video is probably going to be short and sweet. Before we get started, let's just do a quick version check. So for this tutorial, we are using Kanan Live version 21.04.2, which is the most recent version at the time of this recording. If you need some help with installing Kaden Live, click on the link in the description above or the pop up above. That's going to link to my tutorial on how to install Kaden Live onto your computer. The second thing that we want to do is make sure that we are on our editing workspace. So go ahead and click on to editing. This is the workspace that we're going to be working with today. Let's bring in a few videos. I've got three videos here. Just bring this into my project bin. It's going to ask me to switch the profile. I've set my project to 1080p, 25 frames per second, which is fine for this demonstration. So I'm just going to click cancel on that. I'm not going to use all these videos here. I'm just going to pick and choose. I think I'm going to use this one, this lady swinging around in the flowers, and then one more, which is her running. But I don't want this one. I want the one in slow motion. Okay, so this one has sound. I'll bring this into my timeline. And what I'll do is I will remove the sound because we don't need that at the moment. I'm going to right click, ungroup clips, click on the audio and just press delete. And I'm gonna bring in our second choice clip here. So we've got two clips and I want to add a transition between both clips. So of her swinging around in the flowers in the field and then her running. So the easiest way to do that in Caden Live is just to put one track on top of the other or one clip on top of the other. You hover over and you see this purple button. You press it and it's gonna add what you call a wipe. And in this case, it's just a basic dissolve transition. So that's the easiest way that we can add a transition in Kaden Live. We can manipulate this transition. We can make it a little bit longer. So what I'll do is I'll move this clip a bit forward and then I can extend this wipe. So I'm obviously exaggerating here and this is gonna be a very long transition between one clip to the next. And just remember, whatever is above gets played on top of what's underneath. So that is what's happening there. What I can also do is I can shorten and make the transition a lot faster. So let me zoom in a little bit and make this wipe a little bit shorter. Obviously this is up to you and how you want the effect that you want. So that was a very snappy wipe or dissolve transition. There are some options that we can have. So if I click on the wipe transition here, you'll see this box. This is your effects and composition stack. And if you don't see this tab, make sure to go to view and make sure that this box is checked, effects and composition stack. So we've got a few different options here. And what I'll do is I will just extend this out so we can see this a little bit better. So right now it's just on none or dissolve. So let's try maybe a cloud. And what I'll do is I will just extend this transition out so that we can see it a little bit better. Press play. Oh, that's play on my clip monitor, I'm sorry. So play on our project monitor. So we get that cloud transition there. We can also do something else. Maybe let's try the radial got a few options I'll leave it up to you to play around so there's a nice tr radial transition and maybe the square bars I like those square bars what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna keep that transition here so we've got actually you've got a lot of different options that you can play with I'm not gonna go through all of them I'll leave that up to you but another awesome thing about transitions is that you can also add it to your text. So let's go ahead and try that. Now if you need a refresher on how to add text and titles, you can go ahead in the pop-up in the top right 
there is a link to a tutorial that I did about how to add text in Caden Live. Adding text is pretty easy. We'll right click on our project bin here. And we'll add a title clip. I'm just gonna add something simple. So let's just add a title here, field of flowers. Let me just add a shadow to give it a little bit of pizzazz. And I will center this horizontally and center this vertically as well so that it's in the middle of our screen. Click OK. So we've got our text here. We can't add this right now because we don't have an extra track above. So I'll right click on V2, insert track. And one track above V2, I will just insert an AV track audio video track you can just insert a video track by itself or an audio track by itself i just do av track and you can give it a name if you want but let me just click ok it'll default to v3 and if i scroll down here it'll also have a space for a3 so in case what you're trying to add has sound you've got a space there for sound so let's add this title in and i want this title to fade in Oops, not that long, and then fade out at the end. So it's just your normal dissolve wipe. So let's press play, see what this looks like. So there it goes, and then feel the flowers, and then it should fade out. So that's a pretty nice effect, pretty nice title. One more thing that I'll go through before we end this video is that if you get some weird behavior sometimes with the transitions, um, what you can do is try to set the composition track. So for this one, for example, I want it to composite to the bottom track here. So the wipe has to go onto V2 because this is my video track 2. And the wipe on here, if I want to specify, can go to V2 as well. Otherwise, it's on automatic, which it usually does a pretty good job, but sometimes you might have to force it to composite onto whatever track is in there. You could also do other things like invert and revert. So let's just go over that really quickly. So let's look at this effect. So it goes in one direction. If I go to invert, I think it's going to do it in an opposite direction. Could you tell the difference? I couldn't tell the difference. Let's try that again. Let's maybe do a revert. Let's see what happens. Oh, that's a bit weird. So it composites the other way around. So revert might be useful if you have it the other way around, meaning if this is on top of there and we wanted the same effect to happen, so we would do a revert. Does that make sense? Versus if I put this down, I know it's confusing. Hope I didn't confuse you. Oops, we'll play on the project monitor. But in case you don't have space, and let's say you've got some tracks going on and you wind up with this position like this, and you want to transition into the track that's below, the way that you can achieve that is trying the revert function or checking the invert box. So there you go, just short and sweet today. I will post um, the finished video. And by the way, I downloaded these clips from pexels.com. A link to uh, the videos for the download is in the description. So if you want to download those and follow along with this example, you can certainly do so. The best way to support the channel is to like the video and subscribe. I hope you have a good day. Hope you learned something and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>